So today I have a video that I'm super excited about. You're about to see me fangirl so hard. I just came home from work. I'm exhausted. It's 7 p.m. and I got a package. This is one of my most anticipated packages of the year. I don't know what could beat it. And one of my most anticipated books of the year. If you don't know what it is already, I pre-ordered the YA Chronicles Akawa box. And Akawa, in case you do not know, for some strange ungodly reason, is A Court of War and Ruins by Sarah J Maas, the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. A Court of Mist and Fury, the second book in the series, overwhelmed me last year. I reread that baby straight away. As soon as I finished it, I reread it. Like, I never do that. I never. But I did. It was like, <gasps> And when this came out, like, I never buy book boxes, alright? I'm a poor AF bitch, but I will sell my soul for Ryan's hand. So when this came out, I was like, yes, please give it to me. All right, so here's my little dilemma here, though. I decided to reread the Accord of Thorns and Roses series before this came. I'm still on Accord of Thorns and Roses. I'll be finishing it tonight, like, no worries. And I was like, shit, should I just start this now? Just, like, forget about the rest of the books, forget about Accord of Thorns and Roses, and just read this. But I've decided I'm not going to. This has been the most painful decision that I'll probably ever have to make in my life. <sighs> Think of me. Think of me fondly. When you say goodbye. I wanted to have the best reading experience for A Court of Wars and Ruins. And for me, that was going to be rereading the series. This came earlier than expected. A day earlier than expected, actually. But it still came earlier than expected. The book actually doesn't come out till tomorrow. So I think I'm the only one of my friends that I've seen that has this. So they're all going to be pretty jelly when I post. But also confused when I say I'm not going to be reading this for at least a couple more days. My plan is to read Akita tonight, start a Court of Mist and Fury, bring it to work tomorrow, like power for it in like the next two days, I can do it, I've done it before, and get to this bad boy. But I'm opening this box now because I can't contain my excitement, I want to see my babies, and I want to see the goodies in here. So I'm opening this up, my one hope for this box is that I get a candle, because I really want a Court of Fawns and Roses candle. It probably won't be. I really hope there is. Here we go. Da -na -na -na. Ooh, that was a little invoice, so that's boring. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, the first thing I see is this Why Any Chronicles box. And it's a bookmark, and it says A Court of Wings and Ruin. Guys, it doesn't look like there's a candle in here. So that's okay, I'll get through it. First, we have this beautiful Sarah J. Mass, A Court of Thorns and Roses uh, bookmark. It's beautiful. I like bookmarks. Then, we have One Life May Change the World, which is apparently an Akawa uh, quote on this beautiful badge. It's really gorgeous. Hey, bae. We have a little... <gasps> I just saw... <gasps> okay, okay, sorry. I think I just saw a candle. <laughs> okay. We have a little... Is this a sticker? Yeah. A little... Oh my god. A little rise hand sticker. This is a really gorgeous sticker, though. It's really pretty. Then... Ooh, this is gorgeous. What is this? Uh, 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 uh. Seems to be, I think it's a bookmark. It's got a little star at the end, um, dark green, and these beautiful wings. This is gorgeous. I really love this bookmark. It's such a nice design. The quality is really nice. And both the star and the wings just, well, we all know what they represent. Um, I'll definitely be using this to read this series because this is gorgeous. Next, I believe we have yet another bookmark. This is Handmade in Adelaide by Read and Wonder. And it says, I am yours and you are mine. And it's just a really pretty nice bookmark. Nice quality. It's got like a little print of them at the back. They're really gorgeous. We have, oh, this is a gorgeous little um, tote bag. And it says, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered, and it's really pretty and nice, so I can hold all my swag in here. But to be real, I'll be displaying it, so. Then we have to bring out the baby. Oh, there's such gorgeous stuff in here, guys. Here is the paperback version. I got both the paperback and the hardback. It's nicely packaged too, so that's nice. Oh, oh that's so annoying. It's got a sticker on it. It's all right, it's removable. I'll be removing that. But it's, it's gorgeous. It's massive, though. Massive. Guys, this book is gorgeous. I'm so excited. Ugh. Okay. I'm saving the candle for last, I've decided. 
Oh, I just saw the hardcover. It's pretty. Then it seems to be the second last thing in this box in terms of goodies is this beautiful art print. It's obviously of Freya and Rise Hand and they just look gorgeous. I really love this art print. I am just blown away by it. I've seen it on Twitter before and I've just been like, yes! So I'm super excited to finally own a copy. It's really nice quality too. So I'll definitely be displaying this. You can bet your sweet little ass I will be. After this candle, it's really small, but that's okay. It's okay. It's called High Lady of the Night Court. It's just a little white. Ooh. That smells really nice though. It's exclusive to the YA Chronicles. I smell tulips and a vanilla -y scent. I don't know, but it's, it smells really nice. Oh, it's got a description here. Oh, it says rain, tulips, vanilla, green leaves, and it's 100% soy wax. This is gorgeous. I might indulge myself and put it on while reading this series, but this smells really nice and I'm happy that I got my candle. Okay, and the last baby is of course the hardcover. Oh, babe. Oh my gosh, she is a beauty. Oh, quite a, a little bit upset to be honest. And she's a little bit ripped on the corner there. I'm not sure if you can tell, but that is a little bit disappointing, but it's okay. I'll pull through. Apart from that, it looks gorgeous. It's really heavy. This must be the heavy thing that I feel in the box, of course. Naked, it just flows the rest of the other's designs of like this. It's gorgeous, guys. How am I gonna hold off reading this? <sighs> I'm so excited. So this was my Aqua unboxing from the YA Chronicles. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this box. I really, really love the art print, but I think the thing that I actually love the most is definitely, I believe it's a bookmark. I'm gonna use it as a bookmark. This bookmark, it's just, I really, really love it. It's gorgeous. It's simple, but it has the designs that we know, and I just think it's going to look gorgeous. Like, and look, one thing I didn't even notice before, it kind of matches the color of this book, so definitely a keeper. As I said, I would sell myself a rise hand, and I am so happy with this box. I just, oh, and this candle smells so good, guys, too. I wish you could smell it, but it's, it's beautiful. It definitely reminds me of Freya. I can't stop sniffing it. I'm super excited that I decided to go ahead and splurge on this box because I was not disappointed. And I'll definitely be doing it again if future books come out that I just, I can't help it and I'll, I'll buy it. So thank you for watching. Don't expect to hear from me for a couple of days or weeks because I'll be reading this series, then rereading the series, then rereading and rereading and rereading. And that is not a joke. This is no exaggeration. This is my most anticipated book of the year. Anticipated, if I can say that right. And I will be reading it until the dawn of time. I'm gonna lock myself in my own little night court and read this book. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.